guys welcome back so sorry it's been a while but today I'm back with a results day story video and um, because mine's quite unique I'd say um, so yeah let's get into it so as for a bit of background about me I was studying computing maths and psychology for my A levels and I was actually a year behind set to take a year out due to an illness that I had anyway apart from that I was predicted an A in computing a B in maths and a B in psychology and the universities I applied to were Newcastle University, Royal Holloway, UEA, Exeter and Essex to study a three year course in computer science. So I put down Royal Holloway as my insurance and Newcastle University as my first choice. Now this might have been quite a, a risky thing to do because they both actually wanted ABB. So my insurance wasn't really an insurance, it was just a second university that needed the same grades. So um, yeah, maybe that's not the smartest idea. So come results day I did not get what I was expecting unfortunately um, I messed up a few exams. It's crazy how just a bad day or one bad exam or two bad exams can mess up what you thought you were gonna do in your life. It's just it's quite scary to think about that. Sorry if that's a bit of pressure on people studying for exams. Oh god I'm so bad. <laughs> but um, yeah so I got I ended up with a B in maths a B in computing and a C in psychology. So maths is where it really kind of messed me up because I did think I'd get an A in that because um, I was getting consistently 95% in like past papers and stuff but on the actual core four exam day I panicked in the exam and it didn't go as I wanted to and I ended up getting a C in core four when I was hitting consistent A's in past papers but I ended up with an A in Core 3, which is not what I was expecting. I was expecting a B in Core 3, but yeah, that's just how it turned out anyway. So I did end up with a B overall for maths. And as for computing, same thing with the exam. Uh, I did really well in course. I got um, an A in the coursework and then in the actual exam, I got a C, I think, and it averaged as a B. So I, I did miss it. And then psychology, I was just terrible at psychology. Ugh. I just got, I got a C in psychology, um, but that's fine because I know that they would have taken me anyway, anyway with ABC, but I didn't get that, unfortunately. <laughs> so on results day when I woke up, I had an email from my insurance choice saying that I had been accepted to Royal Holloway University, and that was such a like devastating moment because I knew then before I'd even got my results that I hadn't got into my first choice but I knew it couldn't have been so terrible that I didn't get into my insurance because my insurance also wanted the same grades um, so that was like the worst morning ever and I had to wait around before I got my results and then when I did I saw what I got and I was very upset because I knew that I could have done better and like in past papers I was doing much better but it didn't show in my actual grades so I was quite upset so anyway I was gonna go to Royal Holloway because it is a really great university and I think I would have liked it there but something just didn't feel right like in my gut like it just didn't feel right if you know what I mean um, so we did call up Newcastle and I asked them if there's any way they could take me with my grades and they said there's no chance you need at least ABB to go because it's a Russell Group University and they don't accept anything lower than that. So that was quite hard to hear as well. It was even more difficult because it's not like it's just a university because my boyfriend's also going to Newcastle. He had an unconditional offer so that's where he was definitely going and it would have been a lot harder to see him if we'd ended up going to different places. So I realised that there was actually one grade that I had not been given on my on results day, which was for the Pre-U and Global Perspectives. If you don't know what that is, it's the Cambridge Pre-University course, which is seen as equivalent, if not higher than A-levels, even though it's less work. I don't know, it's just meant to be a bit more difficult. It's just sort of like a research thing that you do. Um, so I had done that and I hadn't got a grade for that because I did the first part in my first year and then I completed it in my final year and because I had a year out um, they didn't put the grades together so I didn't end up getting a grade for that so at that point we had to call the pre-u office and say look I haven't got a grade for this can you tell me what it is and then there was a big 
kerfuffle about how it might not be valid because I took a year out and I had to wait a whole week for that to get the grades back and when I did I ended up getting a merit one which I was really happy about because that's equivalent to an A at A level which meant I officially had that ABB which I needed to get into Newcastle so I called them up and I've been keeping in contact with them throughout the whole week and they did say that if I could get an A in the pre-U that there was a chance they could let me in if they had any spaces left and I knew that every day spaces were filling up because international results were being released as well so all of those places were being taken and mine had probably been filled already so it was very very stressful week probably one of the worst weeks in my life <laughs> and um, so I finally got it back and it was an A which is great so I called them back and I said look I've got this A in pre U, a B in computing and a B in maths I've got A, B, B, can you please take me? And they said, unfortunately, we are completely full. We cannot take any more people, even though you do have the grades, which was quite horrible to hear. But she did say that she was gonna go and speak to the head of computer science and see if there's anything at all that he could do, if he could get me on like a similar course or something like that. Because I feel like throughout the week, speaking to her, she knew how, how important it was for me to go there and she could tell that I was really passionate about coming to Newcastle so I kind of I guess I formed sort of like a relationship with her and so she tried everything that she could to possibly squeeze me onto the course so the reason she was going to go and speak to the head of computer science is because my pre-u was actually about women in computer science so it was related to the actual course that I wanted to do and um, the next day which was the Friday morning so it was a week and a day later after results day um, I was woken up by a phone call and she said you have a place in Newcastle University and I was absolutely like so happy I didn't believe it. I actually thought I was dreaming and she was just so so like happy for me and ugh, I couldn't believe that she had done it and she said to me on the phone she said persistence pays and I've got that right there because it keeps me motivated um, she just said you just kept on calling and I could tell that you were passionate about it and so she tried everything that she could and she managed it and I just can't believe it and that's where I am right now and I'm having an absolutely brilliant time here. I'm so happy, I love the course here. That's the main reason I wanted to come here because the course was just perfect for me and, and it has been, it's been really great here. So that is it for my crazy and stressful results day story. I wish you all the best of luck in your exams coming up and I hope your results day is a lot less stressful than mine. And if you have any questions at all for me, please leave them in the comments below and I will get back to you. And I hope you enjoyed this video, subscribe for more from me and I will see you next time, bye.